Hi, my name is Alejandro Rodriguez. Um, I'm going to show how to create a, a small mashup example using WaveMaker. Uh, the original idea was developed by Maria Andres Paredes Valverde, which is currently working as a PhD student in University of Murcia. And the uh, mashup will be a mix between uh, Flickr service and Photobucket. And we are going to use it uh, as already told, uh, as already said, uh, using WaveMaker. WaveMaker. So the first thing that we need to do is to open WaveMaker. So we execute it. Once it is running, it will be open a new mm, a tab in the browser. Here we go. And well, uh, we have we are using a. Mm, mix of a Spanish and English version because some things are in Spanish and some others are in English but well never mind I think that we we could uh, make it uh, work so the thing is that we're going to create a new project for example we're going to call it um, x mashup flick and photo bucket okay and the template is not necessary to use any concrete template so we are going to use the empty one because we are just focusing on how to call the services not in the design of the website itself so we select this and we click OK and well the first thing that we are going to do is to create the service I mean the service call so we need to go to this part to services and we go to web service because we are going to carry a web service um, okay, given that we already have information about the service that we are going to use, uh, we are going to use uh, this populate from sample call uh, button. In this case, there's no need to change anything here because it's already a REST service. So, uh, we are going to copy the URL that we have here uh, of the carry example. We copy this, okay. We go, we come back, and we go to populate from some sample call. Okay, in this part in the URL, we are going to pass this this address that we copied in the previous document. Okay, and we can go to the test button to see if there is any problem, or if it it is everything working as we are expecting, if it's uh, working okay. So we click on test, and here we go, here we go, yeah, perfect. Here we have the the replica of the web service. We can see here all the parameters that are uh, returned by the web service. So everything seems to be okay. So we just click on populate button and okay, here we have all the information about the service. The service name is Flick and the operation name is invoke by the method get in content type text uh, XML the service URL is this one is the same that we have passed before but the difference is that uh, in the method or APK or tags or extra or format is uh, uh, put on uh, uh, the, the concrete parameter that we are going to use in each parameter I mean this is these are the input parameters so we are going to change each one uh, where it uh, where it is necessary and well we can finally click on import and okay the service is imported we have here the endpoint and okay everything is everything is is okay so we come back to the canvas because we are now we are going to to create the um, to add some elements to to make the the web page itself i mean we need some kind of button or text field or something just to make it more usable because now at this moment we have just created the service so we are going to add a text field okay we are going to add a button we are going to add a grid that will allow allow us to to get or to see the results of the web service and also for the photo bucket we are going to add a list a feed that it's an rss feed okay a list to see all the elements okay at this moment the the thing that we need to do is to link or interlink all these elements and the behavior between them so the first thing is when I click the button what is going to happen 
so we select the button we go to events okay and here in the on click uh, event we are going to select new service okay in new service we have to select here the service that we are going to to call and okay we have here here flickr that is the service that we create uh, some seconds ago and okay the operation that it's invoke okay until this moment everything is is okay the next thing that we need to establish is in the data part all the fields that we are going to use in the request to the Flickr service so we have to know the method, the APK, APK the tags, the extras and the format so we have all the information right here okay in this sample call we have all the information this is the method okay this is the APK this is the tag in this case was a convert uh, string this is the extras and this is the format so we have here all the information okay so we are going to start with the method we copy and we pass here the method okay the APK we do the same we copy and we passed okay with the tags in this case will be provided by the text field we will see how to do that the extras is this parameter the URL sequence sequence okay and finally the format that is rest okay so here we go okay so we have most of the parameters the only parameter that is remaining is the tax so in this case what we need to do is to get the information from the text field from this text okay so we just go here and press here in this button and here we have the text field okay so we select the text field to get the value that the user introduced in the text field we close uh, we select sorry we push the button and Lazar which is link okay and here is uh, linked and finally we close okay and we have linked all this information that is needed well the next thing that we need to do is to establish we're going to uh, put all the information that is uh, answered by the service okay because when we get when we press the button it's okay that we are going to call the service with the information contained in the text field at least the the tags will be will come from the text field but okay when we get this data we are we are going to to introduce it so we select the grid okay and here the data of the grid will come from the data set returned by the service so here we don't have any information but if we go here in this button we have this service variable that is the mm, response of the service and we have here all the information that is returned in this case what that we need is these photos uh, the, the this list, uh, list of photos which contains all the information or all the relevant information so we click uh, enlazar and it's done the next step is to uh, load the information from photo bucket in uh, the feed okay so we are going to uh, the bottom and we are going again to events and we have here that this on click event okay but we can make another thing after retrieve the data from the service so we have this and then like it's okay the first thing that we are going to do is to call the service but after that we are going to do something in this case we are going to call a javascript code that is uh, already done we have here the javascript go the code we copy this and we paste it here okay basically the thing that we are going to make is that we are going to change the feed list okay we're going to change the url of the feed list to feedphotobucket.com images and the concretely the tag that is set in the text field and get this uh, feed okay so for example we are going to search about dogs the feed that we are going to change is uh, feed photo bucket images dog feed rss 
if we are going to search images about cars will be fit photobucket.com images cars fit rss okay and so on so once we have this done we save and finally as the final step to make all working is that okay when we get all the data from the service we have a lot of information here because you see that we have a lot of columns so we need to change the columns and edit okay because there's a lot of information that is not relevant for us we are going to keep only those that uh, we consider interesting so we are going to remove a few one we are going to only keep id title and url sequence okay the rest are not relevant and we are going to make a little change in the url sequence because the url sequence will contain the image that we are trying to get from Flirk. so the format of the url sequence will be changed to image okay and we click okay and perfect that everything is done and um, just to finish we are going to run the example to see if it's working okay so we go to the button run we wait a little bit until the new browser is open and here we go we have the new screen with the with the application that we have the below so we are going for example to search something about i don't know cars okay so go to the button we click and immediately okay we have here all the information loaded from from Flickr okay we have all the data okay all the parameters that we establish and here in the feed okay we have all the information that we load from photobucket for example we can click here okay and we go to this photobucket url that were uh, loaded by the feed and well that's all and this is a running example of a mashup between uh, photobucket and flip that is very simple to develop and very simple to run so just i encourage you to continue and to discover new ways to create mashups and more powerful mashups so thank you very much and have a nice day